Hello guys, my name is Maker and welcome back to my show today. So today I return and man, I have a serious video about this, which it just involves with me. But hey, I have no drama to everyone else, but just me while I left YouTube. I guess. So let's get started, then, shall we? So on the recent day right now, well, you might see that I didn't upload like a tons of videos and stuff. It's all because the YouTube's issues and and it brings me to the point of why I couldn't even stand or upload things and it's kind of really bad for me to do that but hey like I said I don't even get to blame on someone else but the only thing I couldn't stand which I blame is school myself and even YouTube which you know they have all the stuffs that they couldn't even fix they even have like some other things that it could never do for as a small YouTuber myself because I couldn't even stand such a thing and you might think it's a great thing well it's not it's just really hurt me to get myself onto it and I cannot even stand up all the trendings and after the ad boycott thing hell just comes today i couldn't even stand this thing and it brings me to the point why i made this video so, because you know i just had to, like, to share this to everyone else but hey despite that they insist of sharing while well, i'm still a small youtuber they only want to see me only hundreds of them literally hundreds like i couldn't even like, stand like in such things that i get so stressful with youtube and myself but the thing is i'm tired of youtube okay okay but not literally tired but i'm saying that you know all the things that they couldn't even like stand is just the stuffs that you know the, the new rules that they strengthened up even the ad boycott too like why the wall street journal did this huh though i still blame it once because you know sometimes the news couldn't even fix such thing and it's kind of really hard because you know they couldn't even research it well and they should not treat them as such because you know the thing is about the news they only want to focus on their future things aside from our past our good past stuffs from the way it just and it should be just like pewdiepie did to all these kids selling his money for charity and stuff like that well it's kind of obvious that you're gonna have to make it things like past stops but hey hey listen they only want to focus in their main thing not literally like they're gonna have to put it on the news like it's such as good things but they only want to have to put it but even though it's all about the context according to eden klein well i should get some things really closer and they shouldn't probably gonna need to be careful in the future even though you are a good person You're joking around like PewDiePie Well, still going nowhere But hey, PewDiePie is not cruel as Jake Paul Cause by the way I see the Jake Paul All I can see is just a couple of disrespect From not only his neighbors But also the people in Los Angeles And everyone too Which I can't even stand And that's also the main reason why I left YouTube And I'm really aware on that reason Because I even watch Scares and Teamstar a lot But there are so much of the things not only that, I couldn't even stand like watching Jake Paul again. Like seriously, he couldn't even like think it for himself. Like it's like comparing to FusiTube, but more worse than FusiTube. Like I'm not gonna lie, but you see, I know he does like all the good things that you might have to say, like motivational stuff. It's easy to say that. By the way, other people are gonna have to motivate everyone else, become one of them to respect having that such respect. But the only thing that we don't respect is the way they behave like that. Which it's a bad thing for them that we don't want to have to trust him like that because it just kills their personality like that and we discredit that for their credibility and their reputation but hey you know about jake paul he may be a great youtuber and a viner but he'll never be great as pewdiepie because you know sooner or later he'll have to try to look at in the mirror and all of these team 10 members will end up like turning on against him and he'll start to like to open up to his doings and make amends with it he could have to learn about it such a lesson because look at besides we do have the reasons to hate him but hey i have no reason to hate pewdiepie is because that he is such a great person he can respect people though he certainly have like reasons that he couldn't even possibly make it in touch with the media as such of my making anti-semitic jokes but hey, these are jokes, but despite all the jokes, it can offend people easily that way from this place. But hey, we do love to fight boundaries, stuff like that. It's just making a satirical joke like that. You know, he's just showing all the crazy stuff in it, that's all. He didn't mean to support the hate groups or whatsoever. In fact, even though I'm white, I don't prefer joining someone else's group. Besides, I'm not one of them. In fact, I even met Firebird Gaming a while back, but I'm not even racist to him, despite I saying all the racist stuff that I said. And I mostly say the N-word at all times. Like, come on. 
I'm the real me, of course, because, you know, it's just obvious. I even curse a lot at things, just like in my videos, too, because that's my main cue. I don't want to have to change my, my thing and stuff. But the reason why I didn't curse it is because I wanted to share this for the world so that, you know, everyone can know about Because I don't want to think about it. Well, sometimes being bad is good. And sometimes being good is bad. By the way, you have to say the opposite because some of them has a lot of, like, hypocrisy regarding to the doings. Because it's just really that bad. But hey, those are just my motivational things. It's easy to say things clearly. Like Katy Perry, he may be stupid. But he's mostly easy at saying all these words such as helping people or stuff like that. But judging by their nice stuff, you still don't know about all their personality and stuff. Which it can make you sad about it. But hey, I'm not gonna have to say the P word. Okay, literally P because it's obvious because, you know, urine. Like, I'm meaning of urine. But hey, that's not the case anymore. But hey, I'm just saying that you, we gonna need to just have to fix things. Because, you know, the thing is, I just can't stand up drama. I just can't stand up, like, watching that same Jake Paul and news and stuff and you know and about with alisa violet who, who was a uh, boyfriend of, of jake paul well i definitely see what's the reason about it because you know jake paul is actually cruel like i'm not gonna lie but the way of his behavior he couldn't even even manage to think we couldn't even manage to look on the mirror and just to open up things just to amend people he even has the most certain reason that disney let him go and the reason why is because he wants to go and move on to more adult roles like seriously even kids are watching youtube like this is actually bad like but the way you just say about all these stuff like you want to have to move on to adult roles well even kids actually subscribe to you which is kind of really that stupid even said rogan just commented about this but hey, I'm not gonna show this thing or maybe I do but hey hey I know for a fact that why Jake Paul is hated but hey I stood up to all these people for those who know things about this because you know even though he's 20 years old he's still acting like a child compared to Miley Cyrus which for a fact that the more he'll be end up being crazy like that the worse can he get for himself just to have to change his mind like that and to be honest well like i said about before being bad is good and being good is bad well he does the good things though he curses a lot but he say like family pg clean in his videos which it ain't family pg clean especially i just saw erica costell's ass but uh, I don't want to have to say it. Like seriously, I just wanted to share this with the world as we just know it. Because like I said, I couldn't even stand and that is just a pain in the butt. And it's very absurd for himself. And he thinks that it's very privileged to think about like all the problems and stuff. Which he didn't even have to think about for himself. I can't even stand him for doing things. Like, I know he apologized for all the things, but after the apology, well, things a little got been broken up. And they obviously think that he didn't care. Well, he didn't even care a lot. He only wants poor viewers. That's mostly the reason why. He even have like a ton of dramas on other people. But hey, I'm on Rice Gum side and KSI side and PewDiePie side. And even h 3 h side, because I don't like Jake the way he talks. But he does the most cringiest thing the, by the way he certainly shows up all his body along with Erica Castle, but no no. Not literally a bit naked body. I only see on their music videos it's such a pain in the bottom. I, I can't even stand I'm like saying this one. But hey, I couldn't even stand. And for you, uh, Ellie Zaviat, you're right all with this stuff. Because, you know, he couldn't even think. Not to mention, he's wasting a lot of money just to break all this furniture. He even vandalized all this stuff. I even, like, watched the trendy, like, top 10. All the dark sides of the Team 10, along with Jake Paul. But, hey, I mostly remind him of Fusi Tube. Like, thank you for that mention, Scares. I actually know about it, too. But, hey, that's all for today. And be sure to stay safe from any hearts and dangers. And, and keep eating all your vegetables and fruits because they're good for you. Uh, well, they're just health foods. But, yeah, I'm not gonna have to make, like, the outro of myself. But, hey, here's just saying the waving goodbye as my signature outro. Which, which I say... Toodaloo!